So there's a story in Politico here, which uh, is kind of wild, man. It's kind of wild that this is what we've come to. So they say a simple law is doing the impossible. It's making the online porn industry retreat. Pornhub has pulled out of multiple states rather than comply with age verification laws. So let me walk you through this. I believe it's five states. It's between like five and seven states that have done these laws. And it's actually now a bipartisan effort. So when they do vote on this, it's like overwhelming. You have, you know, bipartisan, huge majority say, yes, we agree with this law. And the whole idea is cloaked in the notion and say it with me. What about the kids? What about the children? You know, oh my God, our poor kids are, are being exposed to, to horrendous things online. Now, the problem is what they're making Pornhub do is literally like you need to literally submit a government ID to get access to a porn website online, which means they have, I mean, the corporations already have this, but this has maybe been a level above and beyond where, so now the federal government is going to have access to any and all kinds of kinks and fetishes that you, a citizen, is into? They're going to have like a database of exactly what Bob from Tallahassee likes in the bedroom. Well, I got news for everybody. You know, probably the overwhelming majority of people are freaks. And there, there's some degree of like, this is private. The, you know, the, the general public or the government has no right to know the things that I'm into. And so it's really like a big government authoritarian, like we're going to get right involved in your private life kind of deal. Now, then they'll flip it around and say, what, do you not care about the kids in this situation? My response is, control your damn kids. If you have kids, put on some safety protections for the internet. Monitor what they're doing until a reasonable age. Right? Like, that's the answer. The answer is, this is clearly an individual personal responsibility thing. This is clearly like a family issue, a parenting issue. But now they want the government to step in to play this role and effectively creating a government database of what everybody likes to jack off to? On June 15, 2022, a freshman legislator in Louisiana's House of Representatives accomplished something no other lawmaker or activist in the country could. She passed a law that is changing the online porn industry. If you think this was the result of a bitter culture war battle, think again. Quote, pornography is creating a public health crisis and having a corroding influence on minors, asserts the bill that Representative Lori Schlegel, that's who it is, introduced. Almost no one in the Capitol in Baton Rouge disputes the statement. The bill sailed through the Louisiana House 96 to 1 and the Senate 34 to 0. The bill holds pornography websites liable unless the websites perform reasonable age verification methods. In short, requiring users to show government ID to prove they are 18 or older. Democratic Governor John Bell Edwards, no fan of the legislature's Republican supermajority, signed the bill about a week after it arrived at his desk. And they go on to say, this dude's vetoed a bunch of our bills, but he didn't veto this one because effectively uh, he supports this one. So they go on to explain about this woman. I believe she's a, she was like a sex addiction therapist or something before becoming a lawmaker. I mean, it's like a classic example of like, when all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. So you're used to, in your experience, seeing like all sorts of depraved people who are, who literally have a problem with sex stuff and they come to you and all you hear is this. So you start thinking, well, everybody's like this. And so now you want the government to get involved in everybody's private life because you had a personal experience where you saw effectively like the worst of the worst when it comes to sex addiction. And then they also go on to say, ironically, she got the idea for this law from listening to Howard Stern, because Howard Stern, he was like raunchy and crazy going back, you know, uh, decades ago. And, but he was having a conversation with, I think it was like Billie Eilish, the singer Billie Eilish. And Billie Eilish said like, oh, I was exposed to porn from a young age. I was like 11 years old and it really like messed up my brain and everything. And I wish I wasn't exposed to so much of it or whatever. And this woman heard that and said, oh my God, this is like a national crisis. We got to act on it. And so they passed this bill. And now these bills are popping up everywhere. So effectively, they found a back doorway, no pun intended. They found a back doorway to ban online pornography by cloaking it as they do with other social issues. What, what about the children, man? What about the children? This is what they just did with trans people too. We all saw this, oh my God, the real problem is the kids. We just don't want the government forcing your kid to become trans and cut off their dick and balls and take hard drugs. And so we're just trying to protect the kids. And then slowly but surely what happened? It was mission creep. And eventually now you have at least five states that did like, let's ban the trans affirming care up to age 26 for adults. 
And this is effectively what's happened vis-a-vis -vis porn. You got all these porn sites that are pulling out of the state because they're like, hey, we don't want a database of people's private information. We don't want them to have to submit a government ID. And that's that's now the duh position among the legislature is like, well, of course we support this law. Of course we support big government. Of course we support authoritarianism and an Orwellian peek under the hood into everybody's private life. God, it's so frustrating. Because I guarantee you, anybody who takes the position that I'm taking right now, that this bill is bogus, they flip it as like, well, you're okay with sexualizing minors. And I couldn't say it any clearer. The real solution, the real answer, parents do some goddamn parenting. Monitor your kids, put the safety uh, precautions on your computer, on your browser, safe search, whatever, you, whatever, whatever options are out there, right? Do your goddamn job. Don't make the government get involved and get into 46-year-old Steve's private life so you know every little kink he's into. That's not something he's comfortable sharing with the state, nor should he be. It's none of your goddamn business. It's a solution in search of a problem. I don't, I never bought any of, oh my God, the sky is falling because like pornography exists. Well, guess what? Back when I was a kid, the first porn magazine I saw, it's like, like the old stereotype. We literally had to go into the forest. So one of our friends like kept it under a rock and like you had to, oh, ooh, look, boobies, right? That's what it was like back then. Kids were stealing their dad's nudie mags or whatever. Once they hit the age where of course you're interested in things of that nature. And now it's just, they have the internet. So it's easier access. So control your damn kids, do your job as a parent, don't get the government involved, and don't make the, the porn companies or the government get create a database of people's every kink. That's so disturbing, man. It's so disturbing. And what's really pathetic is how all these little virtue signalers, it's like, you know, unanimous support in one of the, in the bodies. It's like, oh, please. All of you guys are such, and I guarantee you, if we look through their search history, woo, I'm sure these, uh, you know, whatever, Louisiana politicians, Arkansas politicians, whoever it might be, I'm sure they got some stuff in there they're pretty uh, embarrassed about, right? But, hey, turnabout's fair play, right? Somebody should post it on a billboard and put it up and say, you know, these people want to track you and look at what they're into. Like, uh, elf porn or something. <laughs> Is that even a thing? I don't even know if that's a thing. Anyway. Here we go, man. Again, no pun intended, but back to our way to effectively ban pornography. And this is a lot more sophisticated than the idiots like Marjorie Taylor Greene who just come out there and say, we should ban porn, right? Like it, it's a more sophisticated way of doing that. Nobody would agree if you're just like, hey, we should ban porn. Nobody agrees to that. But if you cloak it in like, well, actually what we should do is do an age verification law where you have to submit a document and the reason we're doing this is to protect the kids and oh, I guess you don't care about the kids. That effectively dupes people and be like, yeah, this is the right thing to do. Not good. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.